finally, after a bit of research, I have the Coleman Comfort Smart Cot, which this one will work perfectly according to my calculations. <laughs> and I don't have to remove my middle row seats. So there it is, guys. The Coleman Comfort Cot, or camping cot, I should say. And I'm hoping it's very comfortable because it does have those springs. But let's unbox it. Let's check it out. I thought the box was going to be heavy, but it really wasn't. And it comes with a little bitty mattress, which is not that thick. So I'm definitely going to add some more cushion to that. But there's the springs, and that should make it even more comfortable for me. So let's check it out. Let's unfold it and see what it looks like. I also like the color. I always like red, but look at that. Not bad at all. Compact and lightweight, actually. So let's undo it, guys. One-handed trying to do this does... It just doesn't work. So let me let me get to it, guys. All right, there it is. A whole 69 inches long. So I ended up researching and found this one was way taller than the one that I previously got. So you can see how much space you have down there. It's supposed to be 15 inches. As you can see right there. It's a little hard to see, but... 69 by 25 by 15 inches and the one that I have is a I believe it's four or five inches tall it's 75 inches long and about 25 inches um, for the width also so the only difference is that it's shorter and taller so I'm going to add all that foam again and there's the trifold, so it's about six-ish in inches or somewhere around there, quite a few inches. But I've previously cut one of them trifold parts, so it's adjustable for me if I need it longer, if I need it shorter. And for this one, I need it shorter. So here it is. I just push the middle row seats forward as far as it can go. I'm going to take all this out of the very back and put the seats back and show you what it looks like. There should be plenty of room. So there it is, guys. That looks really cool. And I still have, a, I don't know, two, three inches on the side I can still play with. So I can see if some people get the, the bigger cot, which is about 30 inches, I believe. But this one's 25. And that's perfect for me. I don't need anything bigger than that. I thought I would at first, when I first started with the, the van life. But it turns out the 24, 25 inches is wide enough for a single person. Looks good to me. So you can either keep it with that seat there. Look at all that under storage. That's what I'm really excited about, you guys, having that under storage, which I really couldn't store too much under before. But I'm going to put this seat down and then put my kitchenette in there and then kind of see how that looks. Looks nice to me. There it is. There's my DIY kitchenette with my battery and my butane. I got to get some of my electrical stuff in here, guys, because I'm trying to use solar power. That looks really nice. So I just scooted the kitchenette a little bit over and I'm able to crack those open, those windows open and have ventilation and now gives me some space there so I could put my big blue eddy battery right there but yeah I'm loving I'm loving it it feels very comfortable I got to see what it's going to be once I add my extra extra comfort my foam toppers mattress and all that but I still have room there to put a potty or to pull that one seat back and ride a third passenger if if I need to. But look how much space there is. That's a Everfun backpack. And there was still a few inches. Looking good. Now to sort everything out. So let me get back to work. Thanks for watching, you guys. I really appreciate it. I will see you on the next video.